I I like it when people sing happy birthday to me. It's not cringe. Aww. I gotta say, Keyframe, that that wasn't very keck of you, my friend. You're not keck. <laughs> <laughs> you're the most. You're a. You're a downvoted post on a two-post subreddit. Damn. Uh, oh. That hurt. Holy <laughs> shit. Damn. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what, what cake are you making? I'm making a red velvet vanilla swirl cake, and I'm dyeing the vanilla parts orange, so it's red and orange like his colors. You oh, had me at red that... velvet. Oh man, that sounds delicious. When is yeah, this being thanks. served? Uh, Saturday or Sunday, depending. Oh, we we were going to go to his parents' house on Sunday to enjoy the cake, but uh, his parents' house is infested with ants, so I don't. Yeah, know that's good. cake there. So yeah, that's welcome to summer. So if but, I, I yes, if I, if I start driving now. No, It'll be you're 34 hours before I get to California. <laughs> but yeah, Brett requested vanilla buttercream icing, which I will be, which I will make by hand, and then I, uh, I'm going to print out his cutie mark, and I'm going to cut it out with an exacto knife to make a little stencil, and then I'm going to see if I can find any uh, like gold. Uh, you know those really fine sprinkles, like the gold. Yeah, sprinkles. yeah, really yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Sprinkle it so it has his cutie mark on the top. Because I make cake, I bake a lot. <laughs> this is something that I did not know, and I'm so happy that I know at least one person who can bake well. I may need your assistance in the future. Oh yeah, I made Lauren <laughs> a birthday cake, Abby Rody a birthday cake uh, last month. It was a devil's food cake with. Um, Oh, you know, chocolate God. ice, handmade chocolate uh, buttercream icing, and then it had dollops of vanilla cinnamon buttercream on the top. And, oh. uh, last night I actually made peach bellini cupcakes, which, uh, if you don't know what a peach bellini is, it's like peach, peaches, like chopped up peaches, uh, peach schnapps, which is a liqueur, and uh, champagne. So I made that. That and stuff I, is good. And I made a, I made my first attempt at a meringue frosting for the top, and it turned out okay. Uh, the best way to make a meringue is in a stand mixer, so you don't need to hold the, the hand mixer when whipping the egg whites. So, uh, they, they, the, the, the topping didn't come out perfect. It's fine now, because now it's hardened to be like a marshmallow, which is the whole point of having a meringue. So they're mm -hmm. good. But, like, I, when I try new recipes, I try to follow them closely so I can see what I like about them and what I don't like about them. And then the second time I make them, I do it the Chrissy way, which usually means they turn out better. Mm -hmm. But but I did something ambitious with that meringue one because that meringue one required melting sugar and water in a pot and pouring that hot. You're basically making syrup, and that's hard oh, to yeah. do by yourself. <laughs> but it's it, 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 I mean, it was okay. It was a, it, the the cupcake itself is good. I should have added more of the chopped up peaches in it though because that those make them like. Mwah. It's a very dense cake, though. Like, that recipe makes a very dense batch. Ah, yeah. So if you're not a fan of dense cakes, um, eh, I I'm going to try to make it lighter next time, so a more, like, liquidy consistency batter. But the reason I made them is I'm, ch I'm trying out uh, different recipes because I want to do a little thing, because I want to make more content. And I want to do this little series called, like, uh, Fan Art Foods where I take a character from a different franchise and I try to make a, a food, a, like a baked dish based on them. So like Nerdy Nummies, but it's Oh neat. no! Uh, and uh, uh, I, was, damn it. I was trying to make an, I was trying to make an Animal Crossing thing with the Peach Bellini cupcakes. Cause I already have an idea for a Ruby and Sapphire one, which is like a, a vanilla, a blue vanilla Shit. and strawberry swirl cupcake. So Ooh. like red and blue, so fire, you know. It. I try. I did, had made them before, and they turned out good. But like, I'm gonna try a different cake for it because the first one was like a a cake where you use a strawberry puree, and I tried separating the batter. So one is just vanilla, one is the strawberry puree, and the strawberry puree part was like a more liquidy batter compared to the vanilla one. But they both baked relatively the same. But this time, I was like, what if I made them soda cakes? Which if you don't know what a soda cake is. 
It's basically you take a, some kind of white cake mix. So I'm going to make a homemade dry cake mix. And then you put okay, soda cool. pop in it in place of like milk, eggs, you know, whatever. And it makes it a very sweet, light cake. And I used to make them all the time. Like I, I have a rainbow, like a rainbow tie-dye cupcake and I can make it into a rainbow dash cupcake if I want based off of it. So I was like, what if I do that? So they both had the same base batters and I use a strawberry 7-Up for the ruby part and then like a, like a normal 7-Up for the uh, sapphire part and I just put in extra vanilla. So mm. it could, it would, because it doesn't taste lemon lime when you bake it, weirdly enough. But uh, food experiments, that's my hobby. <laughs> that, is, that is, if you wonder what Chrissy does in her spare time, it's that. I'm just in the kitchen being a scientist. If I ever make it out of California, I will pay you just to make me fucking confectionaries, and I, that's not even a bit. Uh, I, mean, I, would, I mean, I love to. I always say to my friends and stuff that I, that I just want to be able to cook for people. I mean, no. Brett knows how, how much I love to cook. I make him dinner all the time with different recipes. Mm -hmm. And that's I the just... reason why he's a husky boy. I, I made him that way. He's a well man. He's <laughs> am... Italian. He will never go hungry. I am I am the culmination in turn I can't make sweets but I'm the culmination of cooking of a, of a German an Italian and a Caribbean. Oh, we know our food. That's a great combination. The we other two know. parts of my the other two parts of my bloodline don't know how to cook shit. It's Irish and Italian. Uh, no, Italian is the fine part. Irish and Hungarian. I have little slivers of that, but I'm mostly Italian. Hungarian. Sadly, the Irish part is what made my skin so pale. My dad is the most olive-skinned-looking Sicilian you'd ever meet. And oh, I dear. turned out looking like a fucking jar of mayonnaise. But, oh. well, I mean, like, I the Irish genetic is just so strong, because my half-sister, she is um, Italian from my dad's side, and her mother is Puerto Rican. So she has, like, you know, fairly dark-colored skin. Uh, she got married, and she had a kid, and her husband's Irish, and that kid is as white as snow. Like, he is... Dear. He is a cutie pie, though. Little Jake is a cutie. Uh, the Celts must fight. They must survive. <laughs> if the I fucking mean, Romans I... couldn't stop him, nothing will. Well, I have been thinking about chat, uh moving my that so, some nights moving my desktop to my my friend joe uh gave me some pointers and i can move my tap my desktop tower and one of my screens near the kitchen and i could uh live stream me cooking one night if people would like that that would do a cooking that would stream be awesome do it maybe i would maybe i would do some cooking and then maybe some baking afterwards because i like both and then i could hear people criticize how i cook wee 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 <laughs> Ree, you're not using the right amount of ingredients. Ree, I, you're over seasoning it. No, maybe you under season your food. Anytime Thank anybody, t that's how I feel. Anybody, time anybody tells me like hot sauce, you can't put hot sauce on anything that's or everything, bad. and I'm like, you you're cowards. No, the thing is, I hear, I just see people under season their food so much, and I'm like, that's not right. If I see any white on this chicken, I'm just, <laughs> I'm not going to eat it. Chicken is, <sighs> is meant to be a receptacle for the spice. Yeah. It, Those it, spice it, bottles better be dancing on top of the, that pot. Oh, dear. If you're, if you're not I, shaking it, what are you doing? I had sort of a clandestine moment when my grandmother was cooking one day when I, like, drove the two hours back to go visit my family, like, over pandemic. She was cooking with a, a specific type of curry powder, like a very specific curry blend. And I just poke yeah. my head out from the living room where me and my brother are sitting and playing GameCube, right? And I go, hey, Nana, are you making curry? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, are you using the Jamaican blend? And she's like, how the hell did you know that? And I'm like, oh, <laughs> I use it on everything at home. I need more. And I just poke my head back inside of the living room, and she comes back with like an entire like like cardboard small cardboard box of like twelve of those shakers, and she's like, oh, "Here, yeah. take it. I don't make I don't make enough stuff with this. How did you know what that smells like?" And I'm like, "It just has a particular smell." Oh yeah, 
I actually had to make homemade um, our, uh, what is it called? Masala? Like the, the specific powder you make for like, yeah. uh, like curries. Like I yeah. had to make my own because it's, I think it's full name is garam, or, garam masala. Yeah. Garam and, masala. Yeah. And I had to make my own. So I have a little shaker of it in the, in the cabinet. It just, yeah, uh, and it's, it's, so, again, it's so good. It's so good. I have my uh, Jamaican shaker because my favorite thing to make is uh, chicken tiki masala with elephant garlic. I need to make tikka masala. I order that all the time. I make this. Uh, I make this Thai curry. That's like this green cur green curry with like um. What are the really flat peas? Are those snap peas or are those snow peas? I think they're snap peas. I and think it's they're like, snap peas. It's chicken. So. Green curry, snap peas, like bell pepper, all kind of stuff. And it's so. Brett's had it before. I, I make it a lot. It's so good. It's so easy. You just take a can of coconut milk and just... And, and I actually... The last time I made it, I made homemade naan bread, too. And that was so good. I... Oh. I, I love that I have somebody I can talk about cooking with now. Because I make way too much food. Do, okay, do you have, like, a comfort... Like, something that you make that's, like, your comfort thing to work on whenever you're cooking it? It's, like, it help, oh, helps yeah. calm you down? Uh, probably, like, uh, different pasta dishes. Like, I, I really love to make carbonara. Ah, and, uh, ooh. Brett, Brett, Brett has this pasta to, that I make, which is, like, a chicken bruschetta pasta that he absolutely simps for. It's so good. <laughs> so I, I tend to make those, um, or, or especially homemade tomato sauce. I make my homemade, I make homemade marinara sauce, and that's always ooh. just calming for me to make. When it comes to baking, oh, I tend to hell? just like to make um the game is cakes lagging like shit. because I like the I like the feeling of just mixing batters and doughs and stuff, which is probably why I like to make bread because I because ma I've made like non bread, I've made bagels, I've made um focaccia bread that's always really fun to make. Like, I don't know, there's just something relaxing about using your hands. I don't understand people who don't like cooking when you can just make something and then you can eat it. Yeah, <laughs> my my comfort uh, food that I make is one that even my best friend has called me crazy because he's like, it takes so many steps. Why do you care about that so much? And I'm like, it's comfort for me. All right, it helps me calm like myself. Uh, it's a uh, it's a chili recipe that my grandmother showed me. Uh, uh -huh. You take ground uh, ground turkey, ground beef, and ground chicken. Uh, and then you take the sauce, you put in a little bit of hot sauce, doesn't really matter which one. My personal favorite is to use, uh, Tepere hot sauce from Africa. Uh, my brother's girlfriend has family who lives over there, so they send that over very frequently. It, mostly for me. Uh, and you mix that hot sauce with Jamaican jerk sauce. Mm. And... Uh, then you make the chili out of that. Now you can also add like jalapenos and like your selection of beans, but mostly I run with uh, with like black and uh, kidney beans, along with Ooh. some uh, some diced jalapenos. That's my that's my comfort food to make. Hmm. I oh, I just that's really good. That sounds really good. I uh, tandoori chicken is also a good one. When you uh, make like the yogurt marinade and stuff, and then oh yeah all... yeah. Yep, yep. Uh, Blue Griffin, sometimes I wish I knew how to cook. It's never too late to learn. You are mm -hmm. in the age of the internet. There's like thousands of YouTube channels t dedicated to teaching you how to cook things. Look up a Basic with Babish episode and get cooking. Yeah. The, yeah. What, the, the thing that recently inspired my drive to cook was, well, two parts. It was remi my, remembering my mom saying, like, taking a young Vlad and going, Vlad? Women love a man who can cook. And even when I was like seven, I was like, sold, I'm sold. That's enough motivation yeah. for me. <laughs> That's true, actually. Uh, and the second part was re-watching Food Wars. Uh, 